Well, you guys were up overnight launching this thing, but what exactly are we going to see on the Sarah Palin channel? You're going to see a lot of material broadcast directly from Sarah Palin's home, where we've got cameras planted all over the place, and also mobile cameras so that she can just shoot on the fly. And she's going to be posting material every day. That's going to be a range of uh, her commentary on events of the day. She's going to throw some ideas out there to start conversations. She's going to show a lot of behind the scenes footage of their life up there. And she's also going to be responding to the material that her members post to the channel. She's issued an invitation to members to post their own videos, ask their own questions, and really make it a conversation. So, Jeff, tell us where this stands between a 24-hour news network like Bloomberg or CNN and YouTube. Well, you know, it, it's, it sits comfortably in between. Um, this is a channel where, where Sarah is the editor. She makes the editorial decisions. Um, you know, this is not a, this is not a, a typical news organization that is uh, uh, that is gathering news from all over the world and, and trying to give you uh, you know the best of what they can in the, in the time that they have. This is Sarah talking directly to her fans and and having a conversation with people who think and 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 believe in a lot of what she believes. Now I understand that. You guys are just beginning this new venture tap, and, and Sarah Palin is just the start of that. But who else are you talking to, and what kind of, of personalities are you looking for? John? You know, there's no limit to the kind of person who can succeed in this arena. Anybody who's got a, 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 an oversized personality, something to say, and a rabid fan base that is dying to hear what you have to say can do pretty well. And so we're looking at a whole range of categories, everything from sports to lifestyle, cooking, food, uh, uh, entertainment, uh, music can be big, finance, business intelligence. There's, there's, there's really no limit. Think about the person you idolize and who you'd like to hear more from on a one-to-one -one direct channel. That's something that digital video delivery can accomplish that traditional media can't. You're not going to find individual people's channels on direct TV, for example, or on Comcast. You will on tap. Look, the, Go these ahead, Jeff. Channels don't have, these channels don't have to appeal to everybody. They just have to appeal to your fans and your fan base, which means you can have a much more direct conversation with them. You, you don't have to worry about all the other filters that you have to think about because you're, you're broadcasting to a wide, wide group of people. These are people that have already let you know, whether through Facebook or Twitter, that they are your fans and they want to hear more from you. Glenn Black, former Fox News anchor, seems to be doing pretty well doing his own online network of sorts. Are you looking for people who are polarizing or biased? John, can you give me any more specific about, about who your dream guests are? No one feels that they're biased because they truly believe the things that they're talking about. So, and, and their super fans don't believe that there's bias either. We're just looking for people who have something to say that is resonating with an audience that wants to hear more of it. So they don't have to necessarily be controversial. You could be a great musician who delights tens of thousands of people around the world in concert arenas. And those people might want to be able to touch you know, your world and have access into your life and why you wrote the songs the way you did and what you're performing and what guitar you play and what, you know, there's, there's a, a, no end to the types of content. You could be a wine connoisseur and just want to turn on the, the, you know, turn on your phone or your tablet uh, when you're on the go and just, you know, learn more about your passion. Sarah Palin, of course, used to criticize CNN, John, when you were there. I wonder, what were those negotiations like? They were great. She's a fantastic person. I mean, she is a lot of fun. She is uh, an amazing moose chili cook, by the way. Uh, I've eaten it up in Alaska. And uh, it, she's, she's really determined to have this direct connection to her audience. So it's been a pleasure. Moose chili. Yeah, it's delicious. I, I, can, I can only imagine. Okay, Jeff, let's talk a little bit about uh, the rev share. This is uh, you know nine ninety five a month, and it, it'll cost more if you want to get additional personalities. Can you can you share any information about how you're splitting the revenue between the personality and tap? You know what what's the benefit to tap here? Uh, we really we really don't discuss the financials, uh, especially um, individual um, relationships. 
but what, what we can talk about is the subscription model in general. Uh, we believe it's, you know, it's, um, it's superior to the advertiser model online because uh, the, amount, you know, the amount of traffic we need to generate to generate um, enough uh, revenue to become profitable is much smaller than the amount of traffic you need to, to become profitable when your advertiser supported. I mean, on the, in the advertiser supported universe, you need almost a billion hits to generate about five million dollars a year. Um, you need a fraction of that in order to generate, you know, five million dollars a year in the subscription model. And basically, you need 50,000 subscribers, and you're generating five million dollars a year. So, 50,000 subscribers, is that what you're aiming to get? You know, we don't have any particular goals. Um, this is a new model for, for everybody, and, and we're testing it. And, you know, our goal is to generate enough money to cover our costs, and then anything above that becomes, um, becomes profit for, for all parties involved. The primary goal is to, you know, to talk directly to fans and to have a, a community that we provide for those fans. Uh, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes from there.